Hello, it's Tubal Cain again. I'm back to talk about uh, grinding tool bits again. I put uh, three different videos on regarding these, and I uh, still got some requests for people to watch me uh, actually grind one rather than just talk about the angle. So today I'm going to do just that with a right hand turning tool. This is that big uh, teaching aid that I made some time ago. And if you haven't looked at the other videos, go back and look at those, especially number one. This will be number four. Now, tool bits, uh, high-speed tool bits, are available in different sizes. This is a 3 16 and a common quarter inch. This is 3 8 and uh, this is a half inch. So they come in many different sizes and, and even other sizes than what I'm showing you here. But for the sake of uh, you being able to see what I'm doing, and I'm still wondering that if you can see it all when I do it on the grinder. We're going to uh, grind a piece of 3 8 but rather than uh, using high speed steel, I'm going to use just mild steel for two reasons. First of all, to speed it up, and secondly, I'm going to start with a real uh, long piece. This is actually a piece of key stock, and uh, that makes it a little bit easier for me to hold on to, and then when I'm done with the demonstration, I just cut it off and throw away the end, but uh, that's how we're going to do it. Now, if it helps you, go ahead and put some uh, layout dye, bluing, or in my case it's red, on the end, and you can actually lay out the shape of the tool. That may be helpful to you. Okay, I've laid out the basic top shape of the right hand turning tool on this piece of key stock. I don't normally do that, but this may be helpful to you. Uh, also, the, I forgot to tell you the other reason I made this, uh, I'm going to grind this out of a long piece, is that's much more able to absorb the heat. And uh, as you uh, grind your high speed steel, you're going to find out it really heats up on this. So you've got to keep cooling it. And it's always easier if you don't have to keep taking it off of the grind wheel. It's help, easier to help maintain a nice smooth surface rather than uh, facets like a diamond. You'd like it all to be nice and smooth. Now I don't care if this is going to turn a little blue on me or discolored due to the heat. Now in fact it won't really hurt your high speed steel if you overheat it a little bit. It's not like regular tool steel. It can take the heat. Now I often prefer to grind my bits on a belt sander. This is a two inch Kalamazoo and I might do a little bit of that on there but if you don't have one of these it's uh, you're committed to using your grinding wheel or your grinder and uh, use this little craftsman here. I'm going to try to position the camera so you can see that and I hope that you can. I've raised the uh, the glass uh, safety shield a little bit so it's out of the way. Be sure and wear your safety glasses when you do this. Now what I like to do is to grind this surface first and I'm doing it in a manner like this and I'm moving it back and forth across the wheel. This is the coarse side. I'm only going to use the coarse side but you will want to use your coarse wheel and then uh, finish up on your fine wheel and maybe even hone the thing if you want to. So let's turn this on and see what it looks like. Notice the angle at which I'm holding the tool bit against the wheel. That's most critical. Now we're going to uh, speed this up and move up uh, about five minutes and see what it looks like. Okay, I've finished uh, this surface which uh, forms the uh, side clearance and now I'm going to proceed to uh, 
grind the other part here which gives us the front clearance. And notice the angle that I'm holding this at. You of course have to keep cooling this regularly. And now we're going to move up about five more minutes. All right, now we've finished off this angle here that gives us the, uh, the front clearance. And we are ready to uh, grind the side rake on there. Now watch how I hold this on the wheel. We'll move up just a few minutes now. Okay, now I have just turned the grinder off, but I finished grinding the top uh, surface, which is gives us the side rake and, of course, the angle of keenness. Now, every time that you place this back on the wheel, because you have to keep taking it off of the wheel to examine uh, what you have ground and to keep cooling it, Try to get back, it back on the wheel the same so that you end up with w one smooth surface rather than uh, facets. And that may take some practice. And that's why I suggest using some cold roll steel because it's cheap and it'll grind much faster and it'll give you, I think, better results. And then when you graduate from this uh, to the high speed steel, you won't waste as much and uh, I think that you'll have uh, better success. Let's take this over to the bench and look at it. Okay, there's the finished product. Uh, right hand turning tool. Now I, I did not uh, put the radius on the end yet. Uh, and that can just be honed on. Just a little bit of roundness on the end. It'll give you a smoother uh, surface and it'll keep the uh, very point from breaking off if you take a heavy cut. So that's usually helpful to do. It can be done on the grinder or on the, the oil stone. Uh, I'm, at the end of the video here, I'm going to take some close-up stills of this because this is about as close as I can get with the movie camera, and I know that you can't see some of the details. So I hope this helps you uh, as you grind your lathe tools this winter and uh, get a nice keen angle on there and you get a good cut. And when your chips come out, you curl off there real nice and uh, doesn't make a whole lot of noise, you know you're getting a good cut. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.